So the next part of the video will be hardly edited, not because I'm lazy, well, yeah, partly to save time, but mainly so that you'll see how I deal with the errors that I made throughout making my game. So let's continue to the video. So yesterday we did a pachinko 2D challenge. Now we are go we are doing a plain programming challenge and now we're going to window package manager and we are going to import the assets here on our challenge one and see if it works. And import it here for it and that's not upgrade so there are tons of prop Alexis oh okay so escape go here go to challenge one and hit play hopefully it will start playing yeah it started playing now let's see yeah, the plane, you can see the plane very briefly, it went away backwards. Alright, so let's fix that. Let's go to the plane and check the controller setup. Alright, uh, player controller, let's find the script for it, double click it, and let's review the code. Alright, let's compare this code the code that we have before it's basically how i this is basically how i code usually i compare it to the code that i already made in order, in order to find out what went wrong so this is the code for moving the car forward and this is now the code on the plane it's set on vector 3 dot back so if we change it to forward the plane will now move forward hopefully so so let's go to unity and let's play and watch our plane yeah it now moved forward but it's very fast but for our main challenge right now challenge one is to the plane is going backward it's completed next challenge is the plane is going too fast now we're going to fix it so we are just going to decrease the speed here by 10 and let's play it it's i think it moved a little slower let's try changing it to one yeah it moved now in uh slower it moved slower now let's see if they put delta time here no so the problem is they didn't put any time that delta time like the way we did here so we are going to copy this or type just type here at uh, time that delta time or just type here time that delta time multiply it here and let's play here and check yeah now it's moving one unit and it keeps on rotating and if we move if we change the speed to 15 again and play it will probably start moving now correctly we might be able to see it yes so we're done with this challenge next challenge is the plane is tilting automatically make the plane tilt only if the user presses up or down arrows all right let's review the code review the code of the plane again so this tilting the plane transform that rotate you can see how the comment is very helpful you can already see that this is the code that tilts the plane so let's see here tilt the plane up or down based on up or down arrow keys all right so i think the problem is vector that right it should be vector that up then let's hit play Oh no no no, that's wrong. So it's not that vector that right is correct. Vector that right. Let's check the plane. Click the plane and check its rotation. 
use the rotate tool and rotate it forward and backward oh yeah so the x is the one that's changing if you rotate it so it only makes sense for you to use vector that right because you're changing the uh, vector dot three documentation if you check on vector documentation you can see that vector that right changes the x axis for the rotation so better use vector that right so now our problem is why is it rotating on its own mm -hmm. let's check this vertical input Oh, so the problem is because this rotate function doesn't multiply to the vertical input. I think this is the correct answer now. So let's save it, hit play on Unity. And yeah. Is it more intuitive if it's up, uh, if it's down for W and S for down, uh, S for up? Because that's how it is. Maybe we turn, you make this vector dot left so that if you press w it goes up you press s it goes down because right now it's opposite yeah so it's moving the way i want it to now all right we are finished with this challenge next is the camera is in front of the plane so we have to reposition it behind the plane so to reposition the camera just click camera on your hierarchy window and use your move rotate tool which is Y and move it behind oops move it behind your plane and we are going to rotate it so it's like 360 degrees of rotation and we are going to put it near our plane like that yep that's this oh beside the plane oh sorry that's beside the plane so it's 270 degrees and move it here move oops a bit here and check on the plane and hit play button yeah yeah, yeah. it's moving now beside the plane and the mark is completed the camera is not following the plane so what we need to do here is follow player dot x. This is the script that's attached to the camera. It's not connected to any plane. So we are going to drag and drop our player here. So now the, pl the plane is connected to the player. If we click play, I think it's going to follow now. But the problem is the offset, so we're gonna fix that. But for now, we change this to mark completed. Oh, so now we're going to change the offset because it, it doesn't say here to change the offset, but we would because it doesn't it doesn't look good. So to make the offset, you have to private vector three offset equals new vector three. And you're going to input x, y, and z axis, uh, axis here. So we can change it. So let's look at the camera. Check on transformation. If you move it here, it's x. So we want it to be... We want it to add x axis. So we have maybe 10. Then when we click save and hit play... It's probably going to show 10 units away from the camera which is nice but doesn't look in the middle so we're going to change that uh go to your main camera sorry and change this so the one we are going to change is y we set this to two let's check on the camera preview so set this to 10 something like that yeah, maybe two and for the x uh, z axis because you want to see the obstacles ahead we have to position the plane on the left side of the camera so we we'll make this two as well and hit uh we hit save don't click that and wait for it to finish 
play and look at our plane it's moving now but i guess this is to uh this is to close so we'll adjust the camera angle yeah now that looks better yeah now that looks better now we are going to attempt the bonus challenge the plane's propeller does not spin so let's go to our plane here press f to focus on the plane and let's view the plane's propeller uh, drop down click on the propeller here and we are going to make a we are going to make a script for it create a c sharp script on the scripts uh, let's hide the camera here uh, hide our camera so we're going to click a propeller create scripts create c sharp script i already created and then rename this to propeller spin then click on propeller and we're going to add this script here and we're going to code oops propeller spin we are going to code the rotation of the propeller so we're going to study first how to rotate the propeller rotate unity so basically once we go here to our propeller we want it to move in what axis oh so the rotation is in all axis all right so moving it to the yeah it rotates in all axis I think what we have to do is copy our code from before in the controller get this transform that rotate go to the propeller spin move on to update but we haven't set rotation speed yet so we're going to make a new public float rotation speed and set it to 1.0 F time that delta time we are going to remove vertical input because we're not gonna control it it will rotate automatically and maybe use vector as a whole instead of just vector that left because we are going to well, let's go to vector and check vector tree documentation because we are going to change all the axes so it's a vector dot one so this is why you have to go and check the documentations so on our code here propeller spin vector 3.1 and save it now we can look at our plane oh we can't see it properly let's move the camera slightly so that we can oh, never mind i think we have two move this game here we have to move the game screen here so that we can see it side by side and let's click play uh focus on this so it's not rotating oops stop it hit a wall it's not rotating hmm. maybe if i change this to two change this because we are multiplying by one right let's change okay still not moving hmm let's see but we're sure that we have to we're sure that we have to change vector three. Oh yeah transform rotate and i have to input this is wrong rotation speed we have so the syntax for rotate is transform that rotate vector three then angle here which is a float value that's basically where we went wrong and click save and play check our scene hmm, still not moving it's kind of weird you can check the volume of the propeller here uh, 
Uh, start. Yeah, it's still not moving. Hmm. See, transform, rotate times vertical input times rotation speed. Let's check our old controller here. Enter 3 dot up, time dot delta time, rotate. Oh, there's something wrong here in our plane moving. We have two. Do it like this. Left and comma. Maybe that's the problem. Let's check it out. But that's how you do it because this is what we use on our uh, car a tank. So that's the syntax. I basically went wrong there. Let's see. Oops. Oh. Propeller. Yeah, the propeller is still not moving, unfortunately. Uh, let's see the rotate. Rotate. Okay. Parameter is relative to public void. Rotate Euler space relative to space itself. X angle, Z angle. You want to learn how to use it. Axis to apply the rotation to, decrease of rotation to apply. Let's check here. Propeller.spin, rotation speed. It's a float, right? Yeah, float angle space relative to space itself. So this is uh, denoting to itself, you don't have to enter it. The problem is the angle. So we can we probably just go and how to rotate object with script in unity since you're really having a hard time now let's check this documentation vector that up also rotate around the world's so y-axis rotate the object around its local y-axis oh so you multiply it with delta time let's try this vector the one times uh, time dot delta time rotation dot speed times time dot delta time and then hit play save hit play check the propeller still not moving as you can see so what's wrong with our code Transform that rotate. Hmm. Axis to apply rotation to decrease rotation to apply rotation is local to object or world. Vector three dot right. One degree per second. Oh, okay. One degree per second can do it as well let's see this vector dot one then we are going to change time dot delta time let's check this it's not moving that's a big problem How to rotate? Maybe let's just go watch a video. Let's create a C sharp script. All right. With the name of rotate game object. Now I'm going to drag and drop this script on my cube. Need dot root give him dot delta time so that I as 
so that's how it that's how we do it in the first one right multiply it to about the time then we multiplied it to rotation speed what if we set it to 100 and let's run still not moving let's check the propeller oh yeah I put the wrong I put the wrong thing there mm, let's, let's make another script C sharp script Propeller script, propeller spin. And connect it to our propeller. We're going to remove this. So the problem was because I didn't I'm just gonna copy the propeller spin. And paste it on propeller 1 because that's exactly what we're gonna use anyway. Set it to 20, maybe if it's too, too, too fast. So the problem that we encountered is because we have a different code here attached. So let's play. There's a compile error. Compile error. Save. Play. What? Oh, yeah, 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 so that's the problem. Let's copy this because we changed the class name, that's why. Yeah, I think this will be okay to use. Yeah, now we're making the propeller move, but we have a slight problem. Propeller is not moving on the direction that I want it to move. Yeah, it's moving in all axes. All axes. Mm, let's go to the propeller and click the rotate button. I think we only have to move X. I'm not sure why Z and this thing is moving. Let's try it. Let's form the rotate. X is basically right, right? So let's uh, run. Run this, check it here and click play. So it's moving now on that direction. Maybe it's up. Let's try and play. Now it's moving on this direction. It's not Z, is it? So for uh, vector tree documentation, we want to change Z so it's forward. All right. Go to the code, change this to forward, and click save and hit run. And let's hope that it works now. Yeah, it works now. Our propeller is moving now. Nice. So let's play the game now. Oh wait, the game camera is... Let's put it here. Make this a little bit smaller. So the propeller is moving. Yeah, we did it! Congratulations, you've reached the end of the video. I would like to thank you for reaching this far and apologize as well if the video is too long. Firmly believe that having a strong fundamentals in game development 
and programming in general is a song suite to have if you are doing more advanced works. Future videos, once you get the basics, will be shorter and easier to digest. On our next video tomorrow, we are probably going to make a simple 3D game. We're going to add some enemies and even some mechanics. So make sure to watch my stream at twitch.tv slash and check my updates as well on my YouTube channel. I hope to see you guys again in my future videos. See ya!